Welcome back to the garage. All you new subscribers, welcome. And I just want to thank you guys for supporting me and for continuing to subscribe to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about the reason why the Civic is not on the road. I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of questions, and I'm ready to answer some of these questions. So one question that I get a lot is that the car does not start that when am I gonna finish the engine? The car starts, the car runs, the car has no leaks, no nothing. It, I mean, it runs really good right now. It does need a tune. Um, before I get into that part, let me turn on the car just so I can prove to you guys that the car does run. This is for all you guys that doubt me that the car does not run. drive remember I did a lot of things to this engine and that answers that question the car does start it does run the next question is why haven't you gotten the car on the road well it's as simple as money uh, you guys know with our current situation that everybody has been going through money has been an issue for a lot of families so this car is not registered, it does not have plates, therefore I cannot get it on the road, legally. You guys have seen me drive the car around the block, if you're an older subscriber. And yeah, without plates, I can't go anywhere. Plates are gonna run me, this is an out of state vehicle, so it's gonna run me a little bit more than my regular plates, but that's okay. Um, when the right time comes, in the next few weeks, I will get this car registered and I will get it on the road. As long as there's no snow, like you guys see here, if it's like this, then I will not take the car out on the road. But once everything clears out, I'll go ahead and get the car back on the road. Um, another question that you guys have is, sorry, I had to stop the video because the train was going by, but, Another question that you guys have is ECU. What ECU are you running and why have you chosen that route? Okay, since you guys already know that money is an issue, 
getting the plates, then you should know that getting an ECU is going to be even a harder, bigger problem. I tried to locate my tuner. I was planning on getting a chipped ECU, but my tuner does not tune vehicles anymore. And he used to hook it up for 130 bucks ECU with a chip in it, and he would go around and tune the car for me. At the moment, we cannot do that. Um, he does not do this anymore, this service. And ECUs are a little bit expensive. I have found some, but they are like a, a, a chipped P28. They want around 200 bucks right now. So if I could go to the junkyard and pick a P28 for like 30 bucks, then I would just chip the thing myself. But unfortunately, P28s are really hard to find uh, at the junkyard. An S300 is definitely out of the question. You're looking at over 300 bucks to pick one of those up. I can't do that. And like a Haltech, that's way, way too much money. That's out of my budget right now. So the next thing that I could do is go back to the OG days. And I did, and I picked one of these guys up. If you're not familiar with this, I suggest you stick around on the channel so you can see how this thing works. This right here is a brand new FMU. So I'm gonna be running this with my stock ECU, and this is gonna help me. As long as I have a wide band, I should be good on this. I'm gonna need to do a few modifications to make this work, but with this in the car, I should be able to make some power. Not perfect power like you would get with a chip ECU or like the S300. You could tune, you could get the tune perfect with an S300. But with this, I will get it about, I would say 75%, I will squeeze the power that the S300 would probably squeeze out of the car. So this will work for now. Um, let's talk about modifications that I need to do in order to, to run this. Um, I'm gonna have to install a fuel pump, which I already have. That video will be coming up soon. Uh, fuel injectors, I gotta get fuel injectors to make this work out a lot better. Some cold plugs. I'm gonna have to pick up some cold plugs to run with this. And besides that, I think once I upgrade all those items for the fuel, the car should be running pretty good. Another thing that I forgot is that I have to install a thermostat. I do not have a thermostat in here, so I'm gonna have to drain out all the fluid, install my thermostat, and get that set up. Um, besides that, I think the car should be good. I should be able to get it on the road right after that. So within these next few weeks, I should be able to get all these little parts installed. The next videos you guys will probably see will be on that. So I will catch you guys on my next video. And those of you that doubt me and that think that the car didn't run or that this is a fake video, you could just unsubscribe. It's that simple. Either way, thank you all. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later. Like button, like, make sure to hit that like button, like, make sure to leave a comment.